Hi everybody, welcome back to XCOM. Remember when I said I'd do that UFO landing site? I lied. It's a large supply ship and there's um... Uh, there's like 20 HP outsiders there, so without saving and loading constantly, I would not be able to do that. We have our first uh, small UFO there. Uh, so we're gonna get send Paco up first on aggressive just because they're gonna take damage anyways. But might as well give them the maximum chance to hit. So this may be our... Uh, it's gonna probably take one or two we have eyes on the uh, fighters to take him down. Close but yeah, that, that, that thing was not worth it. Whoa, we actually took him down and with one fighter. What the fuck? And that we didn't get our uh, first takedown of that, but whatever. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Still a few days. We can wait. Contact detected. Oh, we have another small UFO. This guy's out for five days after shooting on one, but you know he's got a kill, so uh, let's see if Six Pack can uh, can fare better. Now I notice that there's like a destruction kind of a graphic. Um, if you actually look at it, you can see explosions actually now. This is a, a, as part of the new patch for this. And I think it signifies that they're at like 50% health. Like, you didn't even shoot him once, like holy shit. Basically, my rule for this is going to be, I'm never going to send more than, uh, if I don't have at least three available uh, for fighters, I'm not going to send anything out for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, and one more one more shot will do it. There we go. And surveillance indicates alien crew moving up the crash site. Yeah. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. All right, uh, last time it, it took me until part 16 to fucking get the first, like, satellite, uh, sorry, the first UFO down. But now it looks like it didn't take nearly as long. Uh, so let me go get our crew together. All right, this is our crew that we're gonna do. However, um, I'm really close to getting scoped, so I'm just hoping to actually kind of just wait for that. I think, yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. Now we have, now we have scopes. Nothing really changes. Um, so I'm gonna go take long scopes then. I kind of need, I kind of want these for our first mission here. They're going to make a difference, trust me. So here we have, uh, yeah, we got our infantry, our rocketeer, our sniper. Uh, we got a pretty good team going here. And I, I'm pretty sure I should have at least one assault carbine on somebody. It's for a ch high chance to hit. Assault rifle can stay on uh, this, this dude over here. So I think we're good to go. Let's go. Oh. Strike one. Prepare for land. It's like right in our backyard. Our target site is near the German border. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. <laughs> you know, during a real UFO invasion, they would just like they'd go right to the UFO site. Let's go fuck some aliens up. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. All right. Well, here's uh, how things are looking. Well, I see, I see a glowy uh, yellow uh, rock here. Now, the really good thing about this mission, in particular, is it's going to give us something we really need, which is um, uh, remember those alien alloys that I don't have any access to, and I'm going to dash this person right up here. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna overwatch everyone else for just for a turn, just so my sniper is in position. Um, I'm debating if I should just go down the center or what. I guess I could go down the center. It's not the best option, but there is some decent cover. It's my rocketeer. I mean, there's not an incredible amount of uh, aliens there, as far as I know. Uh, I think. Whoops. Which number is my sniper? Apparently, like, I, I really hate it because my sniper is like Alt-5. It's random as hell. 
because they, they have hotkeys for this stuff. So my goal is to get to this island here, actually. All right. Or my goal can be just to kind of get them triggered. Uh, who should I bring over there? That's the question. This will allow her to go back to the same place. All right. I, w I would much prefer to activate them and then have them come towards me. Uh, and then I just fall back to that cover, but... Because if I go up here, then I risk activating two groups. Uh, but... And this is, like, really crappy half cover, so... We might actually just send, like, one up as, an, uh, as a su sacrificial lamb kind of a thing. And then maybe start sending her back somewhere else, but I, I don't know really where to send her, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this is some nice cover here, though. I mean, we know they're there, so... But, unfortunately, she's moving up on her own. Yeah, we know there's Meld over there. I don't know. I'm just hoping to activate the group right here. Here they are. Alright. That simplifies things slightly. 60... It's 75. Take the 70, 75 shot. <laughs> I, I love the, the... The... When she speaks like... Uh, I don't even know what it is. Alright, we're gonna move back here. Alright, let's hope this guy moves up. Otherwise my sniper's just... I'll t get another hit with a sniper. We got full cover there, so we're okay. I think he's calling for his friends, though. Ben coming over here. We're definitely going to take another shot with the sniper. Uh, well, maybe 40% wasn't worth it, but... Yeah. Alright, the plan is now to move all the way back to here. So now he has to come to us. And that's kind of the, that, that kind of is the plan. And yeah, we know the melds over there. I'm kind of worried about my sniper, though. Not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna go down here instead. That's that's a safer cover because she's dead, dead in full cover, making it even better. All right, the guy's like moving over there somewhere. All right, maybe maybe we'll advance with one rookie. Uh, or not. Maybe my infantry will now. move up. Alright, well the plan was to do this, but... Now we have an active sectoid running around somewhere. Guess he really didn't want anything to do with us there. Alright, fine. We'll move up in this crappy half cover. I'm feeling obligated to come back up here because that is a really nice position. Uh, uh, like at least in terms of high ground goes. But since he's up there somewhere, uh, now he's over there. He's letting all his sec sectoid friends know I'm here. I don't deem the meld and shit that valuable at this point. Uh, I I'd rather have like a, a better time. Uh, I think we're good there. Let's get the sniper to... Is he there? Ah, oh, there you go. Well, now we know where he is. And it, it's a quite unfortunate I cannot see him at all. Well, we, we have lots of overwatches, so I think we're still good. It's still it's still only one fucking sectoid. It's not the end of the world if he uh, takes a shot at someone. Especially with my, my infantry. My infantry is very, very effective at uh, counter counterattacking. I mean, I haven't activated anyone else yet, so the plan is to just head up here and go get him where, wherever he is. Someone can get behind that, uh, that, that tree over there, too. And oh, yes, there is a broken UFO here. Uh, here we go. They're falling back. 
<laughs> he keeps going like, what's going on? Oh, it's XCOM, run. He used like two of his moves, so, oh, that's not a very good position for him. Let's see. Okay. Well, he's definitely dying this turn, I'm gonna tell you that much. Yeah, we got, we got the flanks up. Let's see, rookie kill? Rookie kill. Yeah, we'll just, uh, okay. I, I guess we'll just head up here. Uh, I'm wondering if I should move up the sniper now. Uh, we'll, 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 spend, we'll, we'll steady our weapon one more turn. So we'll mostly see where they're coming from, to be honest. Alright. Uh, this would be my rocketeer. We'll let the... All right, we got drones. This might be actually the opportunity for my, uh... Oh, 35, it's not good. This is a good opportunity for this guy to, to rocket them. I mean, this is why I brought the Rocketeer along. For this special kind of case. There you go. Drone problem solved. We do not have the accuracy to take that out, I'll be honest with you. Um, it's just, it's really not worth it. I, I don't, I prefer not to do anything about it. And now, with that being said, I'm gonna move, every, I'm gonna move my sniper up now. Probably to this, uh, nice tree over here. Um, which I think, uh, I had a sniper die in that exact spot, uh, when, when, <laughs> during my last run through this game. Let me just make sure she's up there studying aim, and then we'll, uh, uh, start moving up. It's important for her to be here. Welcome to the team. Alright, now we're gonna ma start making some moves. Probably towards the UFO. I think this is this is probably all there is. To be perfectly honest. There's one more group, if any. Um, but there's likely not one more group. Alright, let's move this guy here. On the move. On the move. On the move. Heading to that location. Alright. The plan is now, um, fortunately UFO, there's a gigantic fucking hole in it, so, uh, I can't really do much about that. Uh, I guess the plan for entry might actually be to hug this wall here. Let's go as close as we can to here. Uh, we activated him. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. I'm, I'm relatively sure he's the last one. Okay. So plan is to actually... he's He can't get me in this one turn, I'm fairly certain, and they do not have grenades at this point. So my plan is now... My... Uh, my infantry is now gonna go check that out. Okay, he's over there now. Hmm. Is that better or worse? Sniper can't hit him. So it's actually, it's actually a worse spot. Uh, he still can't get all the way to us, so... We're gonna just rush back here. He kind of, he went away from where my sniper would have had a shot on him. What was that sound? Let's see. Rookie, uh... Uh, let's get some rookie sight. Oh, there we go. That's probably a little bit better. Alright. We got 85% shot there. That's nice. Uh, so I guess we're gonna just start chucking some grenades at him. I would prefer to let a rookie have this kill. There we go. I think my sniper's gonna get the next shot, just because the sniper is very likely to kill him. Never mind. Um, well, uh, he's, he's guaranteed dead at this point, so I guess the rookies are just going to try and kill him. Hey. Girl. Getting it done. I mean, I, the rookies don't have to get kills in order to, like, level up, but it's probably better they do. Uh, but unfortunately he missed completely, so the sniper gets it. I want the, I want the sniper to level, if anything. And the infantry as well, to be honest. Another day, another successful. All right, well, I was right. X XCOM, go home.
That one was uh, fairly easy, actually. It is always reassuring when our troops return from an operation unscathed. I just hope we can recover more of this meld substance in the future. <gasps> yeah, they're really adamant about that fucking meld. I don't actually know what to make that person, so let me just wait on that one. Uh, so for Rocketeer, we have a choice between firing the hull, which is grants 10 aim for uh, purposes of reducing scatter if the soldier has not moved, and it, it increases the range of non-scattering rockets. Um, we can either we can get suppression, which is actually that's fairly useful to be honest, because if my Rocketeer, uh, it, it gives my Rocketeer something else to do, and also I can make them so that they, um, yeah, I remove their. Uh, uh, Overwatch. Oh, sorry, sorry, I remove, um, bleh, sorry. Uh, I... It removes their aim pen- it gives them less of, less of an aim penalty when they move, because you notice that my Rocketeers can shoot and scoot. It's a choice right now, I'm really debating, because, you know, Snapshot is kind of nice when you need your Rocketeer to be mobile. Firing the hole is when you really need an accurate uh, rocket, but... I think in my particular case, I think I might get suppression. I'm gonna just try it out, to see how I like it, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Alright, we got Specialist. Uh, who has covering fire right now. So we have a choice between aggression, which is more crit chance uh, per enemy in sight, uh, tactical sense, which uh, confers more defense per enemy in sight, or opportunist, which eliminates the, uh, eliminates the aim penalty and reaction shots. This makes um, Overwatch godlike, basically, so that's really nice. I'm also going to check again for that person to see what kind of levels we have for that. All right, snapshot on the snipers? No, I prefer precision shot, which uh, ignores the critical penalty, so we can actually crit. And you also get an additional critical chance, which is nice. Or a disabling shot, which is bleh. And the last person is going to be support. Alright. What do we have in terms of teammates right now? We got some Lyrium. I think, yeah, we got the alien alloys we desired. So, before we start anything. We are in dire need of additional scientists in the lab, Commander. Now is not the time to cut back on resources dedicated to our research projects. So we went straight to beam lasers just because I didn't have enough resources for that before, but uh, now I definitely did. Because uh, we need the beam lasers as soon as possible. The only reason I was doing experimental warfare was just temporarily. And uh, I think we're going to have to launch satellites real soon. Let's, ta let's take a look at the barracks. So we have a lot of gunners here. Gunner, gunner, gunner. Probably another rocketeer would be nice. Uh, we also have a fair bit of medics and one engineer. Maybe we'll get another medic as well. And we got one scoot here. How are my snipers doing? We got one sniper there. Wow, do I only have one? I only have one sniper, so guess what? So let's see here. Foxhound, uh, you will level up and be a medic. Just because the more medics, the better, I suppose. Uh, three is, I think, what I want to have on hand at all times. Um, this person is going to be a sniper just because I don't have another sniper. Uh, Foxhound, uh, well, sorry, L L L Lot Lotkia, whatever, I, I can't say her name. And Von Vanuki. I wonder if these are actually like, uh, I, I think they're from the names file. I don't think it's glitching out or anything. I'm hoping it isn't. Whatever. Even if it's, even if it is, whatever. Okay. Uh, and fire rocket. The names file is confusing as fuck, I gotta tell you that. Alright. We'll fire rockets then. Uh, I figured because another rocketeer. Well, I think we're good for rocketeers, I think. So next time I'm gonna just random subclass them. Uh, what do we have? So, we're making a laboratory, and we can also go make one of these things. Apparently the maintenance is... Okay, so I remember someone telling me the maintenance is really bad, but five bucks a month? I don't give a fuck. Five dollars a month. It's high maintenance. God. You're high maintenance! I probably should launch the satellites. Actually, let's just do that now. Alright, so we, we basically take the more expensive countries, despite the fact... Russia's... Maybe I should do... Like, it's only a matter of fucking 110. Yeah, I'm losing 10, but Russia's already panicking, actually, so... I'm gonna take 10 less dollars just to keep the panic in check. Alright. And let's just keep the, the world spinning. They want 8 weapon fragments for 1 engineer. No. I need those. No. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. All right, let's carry on. Remember, we will be watching. And keep spinning it. Oh wow, everybody's coming back. You know, on, on that note, I should actually look at the gray market because I have I have some damaged power sources and things like that. 
Uh, we can actually have $100 here, which means if my access lift finishes, I'm gonna dig another floor down. Like, straight away. Yes. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Actually, what, what was I thinking selling that? Because I had I had the monthly fees come in, so I didn't really need to do that. Anyways, we're trying to dig to that uh, that nice little uh, uh, thing over there. The we have multiple vent. reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. All right, India is pissing itself. It's up to XCOM to save the day, but that will be for next time. Remember, we will be watching. Hey everybody, welcome back to some XCOM. And we're doing alien abductions here. Uh, the act activity is light, so I'm not too worried. Uh, and we're also several buildings in a large combat zone. Um, since we're in the second month now, I'm gonna stop taking three rookies, and we're gonna bring two. Uh, just to show you something. Um, first of all, these people got some nicknames. You got Vampire, Jern, Geronimo, uh, Lights Out. Oh, also, I did verify that Vicky... Uh, v Vinuki was in my names file, so it is actually looking like it's all working fine, so I didn't actually verify that. You know, if your name is so fucking weird that I'm confused by it, I think, I think you owe everybody in the YouTube comments a fucking story about why that's your name. Just because I want to know. Anyways, um, yeah, my plan is here, I think I brought Cosmo along, but, uh, it now reordered him, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so basically we have a lot of basically low, basically, basically, basically. We have a lot of low level people who already upgraded their classes. So from my perspective, I think the way it really should go is that um, in this particular mission, I'm not gonna go and do this, but if it's basically a um, like an abduction mission or something seemingly easy, I'll bring two rookies, uh, two newbies, kind of, so the medic is coming along, and the engineer are coming along. Technically, Dorwal and the scout haven't really done much, um, scout especially, but I'm, I feel safer about this. Basically, I want to get, get some levels to everybody, not just kind of put all my eggs in one basket with, like, a really good sniper and infantry and stuff like that, and then don't have a backup if they inevitably die. Uh, and it just occurred to me that I did not give people scopes, so, um, let me go, let me go get those. All right, I opted to give one of the the rookies one of my scopes. That's pretty much our team here. We don't have a sniper or, or a rocketeer for this mission. I, I figured we won't need it. Engineering, the amount of grenades I have here at my disposal should be enough. I mean, it could be bad if we get into another situation where there's a lot of drones, but I, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Has arrived. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. Shit, well, let's get into India. Grab some curry. Something else that's very Indian-like, I'm not very sure. I know nothing about that. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. I like the full cover these cars provide. So, uh, we're gonna make the biggest move with our scout first. Uh, nice, okay, we're good. So where's my gunner first? The gunner, the gunner can easily move into this place right there. And the rest- This is a disturbing what? sight, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not gonna win any beauty contests, that's for sure. All right, well, we see him, but he's not active right now. Which terrifies me, we're not moving anybody else any further up. Let's just go over here in Overwatch. He wasn't actually activated, so he's, he's not there. But, uh... It doesn't give us a bit of an opportunity here. Let me get my gunner to go back over here. Alright. And now we'll go activate him. Because why the fuck not? Yeah, we know they're the closest ones. I, don't think we're alone out here. I, I think I pretty much figured that out. I may not be a very smart man. Or perceptive man. Hell, I may not even be a man. Alright. There's our floaters. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna pin suppress this one. 
We're still gonna- we're good. What the hell did you do that cover? Well, anyways, my plan is basically just to pin them down. So at least that one won't want to move. Um, we have some crappy half cover here, which is always good. Which is why we're gonna move everybody around to here. So, one of them is probably gonna make a move at my gunner, or at least shoot at him, uh, but this should make things really easy. Uh, we, we have a ton of reaction shots. Wish I could see how much damage he's taking. Oh, everyone missed. <laughs> Overwatch. Overwatch. Alright, what, what does this actually look like? So it's like, um... I, I potentially can move people back here. Uh, we got 35% chance. So I'm gonna get the one up there in the sky, because he's the one most likely to be able to hit everybody. But... Apparently hollow targeting doesn't do very much these days. Oh, crit, nice. Good job, rookie. I mean, 45. Ah, oh, that's nice. Those scopes really help out. Um, we're gonna now overwatch that guy. Oh, we got some sectoids now. Yeah, they're active. Alright, this does kind of mean we do have to take out the, the floater over here. Uh, okay, that's not good. Oh, he's over there. Wait, it, can we actually go inside there? Oh, I mean, there is a giant hole inside this thing. Oh, I see. We can actually see him. Alright, well, let's try and gun him down then. Nice. I'm kind of, I'll be honest, I'm kind of, I'm kind of afraid of, like, okay, great. Of that. Let's take a shot with this rookie. Right. Now we know there are some sectoids over here. I'm hoping that they don't try and flank my uh, uh my gunner there. But I don't think they'll be able to. They'd have to go to like another car there. I may have to move the. I may have to just waste a turn with a gunner and move him. Uh, here we go. It begins. All right. Now we have a, we have basically a grenade here, and these cars are going to blow up with that, which is intentional by me. All right, he has a he can he can hit him. Um, where's my where's my uh, engineer? Ah, uh, here's my engineer. Yeah, that goes way further. All right. Let's go make sure that car is on fire, because I can't actually see it being on fire right now. Uh, okay, now it's definitely on fire. So, now that he's kind of fucked, we suppress him. And I think the medic should definitely go here. Now, I thought that suppression was supposed to cancel his overwatch, but it's not. Okay, so he's probably just gonna be petrified to stay there, because... What does he do? Does he move because of the suppression? No, he's not going to. He's gonna just hang out there. And the car blows up. There you go. Alright. Uh, we have another grenade there. Who else do we have grenades with? Now, I'm kind of reluctant to... I, like, the guy's really easy to finish off right now. Um, however, if I, if I throw a grenade at him, I don't think I... Well, actually, no, I think I have a, my AP gr grenade will go, 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 go over here. One sec. Kind of will. One second, I had it just a second. Okay, I just had... There you go, look at that angle. Okay, I gotta press enter for that, because if I click it, I don't know what it'll do. It's like literally a pixel. There we go. Alright. 
Uh, we technically don't have any shots there. Uh, so now we're gonna just move everybody here to reload. Uh, let's move this person back so she doesn't get shot. Oh, that sectoid ain't smart. Actually, isn't that car on fire? No, it just has fire around it. Very different things. Oh, and a floater. Oh, we have some, uh, overwatches. And we completely just- we just totaled the, the side of this fucking warehouse. Alright. What do we have here? Well, only- only this- this gunner has a sh like a actual, like, shot, so we're gonna take the first shot with him. For his hollow targeting reasons. Okay, he got the kill right away. We have- I saw some overwatches in there. It's not worth, like, kind of risking going in there. Uh, so, the shotgunner will not move in. And I think what we're gonna do, we might actually throw, uh, the frag over here. To set that car on fire, too. Did, did I- what did it do? Okay, it seems to be doing the thing I wanted it to. I saw it flicker at the last second again. Uh, that's not a very good chance to hit. Oh, you can try your luck at 30%. Nice. That scope really does help. Alright, I think... Oh, you can see a guy right there. Probably should take his ass out. Probably with grenades, now that I think about it. Where's my engineer? My engineer already threw a grenade. That's not good. Well, I could kind of throw it up here. It's a little odd, but... I don't know, is that really worth it, though? Uh, okay, we'll just overwatch it. I don't like that, but... I think, I think, oh, okay, good, he couldn't move all the way there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, he got a miss on that. <laughs> that door deserved better. And that guy's overwatching him. There we go, show that floater his boss. Push those sand rakers off our world. We actually have a scout to remove overwatch. I don't know why I didn't really think to do anything with that. Alright. Well, first things first. Almost dead. Um. I, I've, I'm gonna try and get the the engineer to take him out. Actually, that he'll be able to easily. Alright. This makes it really easy for some follow-up shots. We have like, okay, that's a flank, so might as well. Hi. Alright. Uh, we have another one here. Medic, yeah, Medic can get a kill. That was everybody. What do you know? Either these are really easy or I'm getting better at XCOM. These are probably really easy, actually. I mean, I don't remember my first missions going this smoothly, uh, when I, the last time I attempted this. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. That takes a solid effort. So even he's happy. I forgot what Gailstorm is, but Gailstorm didn't get a, uh, any kind of, uh, upgrade. Alright, so, alright, well, this may have changed slightly. So we have smoke grenades, we don't want to do that. Uh, what we want to do is sapper probably. Actually, no, just the, the icon is no different. So our grenades do more damage now, which is nice. Engineer is probably the worst thing like class of a lot, but I'll still level at least one engineer. I probably don't need that many engineers. Oh, we have a ranger for uh, primary weapons, rocket launchers do more damage. Uh, so we do more damage with our uh, SMG there, uh, sorry, our LMG. We can do heat, heat ammo, which um, we do additional damage to robotic enemies. It's a lot more than you think actually for that. A shredder ammo means if I shoot them, then they take additional damage uh, for the next four, four turns. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that you have to actually actually hit them. Um, so I can't just suppress, which is not good. But so that's what, that's how we're gonna do heat ammo. Uh, we can either get another scout or a squad site. Uh, we'll get another scout, I suppose. And damn good ground. Well, with it with a scout, I think that's that's a tough one. So it's like, what do you want here? Do you want to get 
Um, overwatching scout, which is weird. A hollow targeting scout, which is okay. Or damn good ground scout, which is weird again. I mean, that elevation bonuses are nice, but uh, judging how the scout's like always moving ahead, uh, how often do you capitalize upon that? It's a choice between these two, because I'm not going to overwatch with uh, that. I'm going to go with hollow targeting. Uh, oh, here we have run and gun or infantry. Uh, we'll do another infantry, because I think I only have one more now. Alright. We will be in touch. India is happy. That hulk of flesh and metal troubles me. What do we risk with our own investigations into the melding of human and machine? Will we see a line in the sand and refuse to cross it? No. We're going to bake everyone into shivs, to be honest now. Alright, beam laser is coming in in 10 days. Actually, now that I think about it. Can I make another lab? No, I need I need more scientists. Wow, I don't even have enough fucking power. Yeah, this is my last access of them just fucking tunneling all the way over there. It's gonna take me a while. It's not nice. Alright, they want weapon fragments for engineers. No, I never accept those. Excavation complete. Actually, that's fine. We're, we're, no, 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 we're good with that. Alright, scan again. Alright, so now we need to do a ton of excavating now. Oh, and we got some more abductions. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Well, we're gonna bring a- it's moderate alien activity, so it's worth bringing a couple more better people along for that. 